Who's that? Holy crap. Is that Ruben Diaz from the 8111? Is it? No. Dude, he just got... Oh, my God. He just got Diaz from the, the cup. Swimming, swimming is crazy fitness, low key. I will get eaten by a shark. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, dude, imagine he packed Mbappe chat in a pool, you donut. <laughs> dude, he said the ocean, though. He said the ocean. <laughs> You're going to be a dad soon, like in two months. Are there any dads here have any good advice? Uh, chat, you guys got any advice for him? Come on, man. We're the dads in the chat. <laughs> Reveal yourselves. <laughs> Project Mbappe. Yo, man. Should I be that dad one day, chat? I have my, my kid doing stepovers at three years old. <laughs> Stepover acceleration drills with cones in the backyard at three. <laughs> at two. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm going to name him Wissam as well. Wissam. Did you just pack an icon? What the f Oh, dude, he finished that. Nah, he not this rat, bro. <laughs> nah, you just finished the SBC, right? <laughs> dude, I was like, what pack is this? I gotta do the 8111 after this chat. Wait, you guys said they refreshed the 500k pack, right? Today? Wait, today? Or was that yesterday? Am I having, like, crazy deja vu? Yo, honestly, EA must be making so much money from that pack, because I'm not really gonna be one that, like, supports that shit, but that pack is actually, like, kind of crazy. Like, it could be really bad. Mine was really bad. I did it with coins, but some of those packs have been insane for, for what you for what you spend, I guess. But I don't know. We're going to do that on a second account, though. We definitely have coins. I'm a DJ, and I have to do it. Is is tradables from Rivals only 100k pack, though? Oh. <laughs> Take coins from Rivals, dude. <laughs> how many? Yo, in Elite Division, how many coins is Take Coins option for 8 wins? It's only 40k? Boom! I don't know what happened to EA Sports, but mid or nine is set to be released via SBC during Future Stars promo. Straight into my team. Will you be completing him? Come on, man. What is that? That's so bad. All right. Uh, good. Good. Hopefully, we can see a Prem team of the season. I don't expect one because yesterday we got two out of this pack. And of course, I didn't use the dupe. I thought it was Reese James, bro. Bro, let's go, man. Do your 8111s, chat. I'm shaking. Oh, oh. Chat, what's son's Twitter? Chat, what's son's Twitter? Dude, what a day for me, bro. Chat, today I packed Sun and De Bruyne. My FIFA goats, bro. Yeah, I packed KDB from rank 3. I got him out of my 1 of 4, 84 plus. I posted a video on Twitter if you want to see it. Open the store pack. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. Was I shaking? Yeah, I was shaking, I was shaking, bro. Come on, man. Surely, surely Sun and De Bruyne won't fail us to elite tomorrow. No way. Honestly, I am kind of shaking, bro. Ask the chat. Chat, I was shaking when I packed them, right? Do, do, do. Team of the season, I'm about to be shaking. Guys, do your 8111s, man. Oh my god. What's going on, man? That's crazy. Time for our EFL team of the season. Can we get lucky? Oh, he's actually pretty good. But cheap. He's really good, though. I think it's tradable, though, right? Nice. All right, boys. I'm in the mood of taking your channel points, so you know what that means. <laughs> it's prediction time. All righty. Let's make a nice prediction. All right. So we got the 500k pack. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I want to open this pack. I'm kind of shaking in anticipation. All right, boys. It's time to open the pack. It's a team of the season. It's Brazil. It's going to be Casemiro. It's going to be 94 Casemiro. So we're on the board. We've got one team of the season. We've already got one high rated as well. High rated as well. Probably not looking too good if you're on the two to three option.
Okay, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What, man? Two. Dude, we just got cooked, man. Cooked! Oh my goodness, we got cooked. <laughs> That's terrible. De Bruyne, on the other hand, not so terrible. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, bad, bad, pay it out, bad. You keep getting dupes, is Gucci worth it or is Martinelli better? Uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Martinelli, Martinelli is actually pretty good. I don't know. When we make the push for elite rivals, we got to use Martinelli, man. He is so OP. First of all, congrats on 20 and 0, man. 20-0 on old gen is like 11-0 on new gen. Dude, in my experience, this game is an RNG fest, bro. If you get a 20-0 anywhere, good for you. Like, I get that one might be harder than the other. This game is so random, bro. If you get a 20-0, good for you. I don't really care, like, how you got a 20-0. In my experience, last year when I went back and played on old gen, it was harder than new gen with all the pros. I'll be honest with you. It was definitely sweatier. Those people are sweats on old gen, man. They, they go hard, dude. I'm telling you. So I don't know about this year, but last year it was harder for me. On old than new. I just don't want to play old, man. It's so old now. The, the new gen sucks, man. I don't know if old gen is the same of like run down the line. Is it the same? Chad, what do you go with here? Son Diaz Saka. Who are you taking? I think right here I would probably choose. It's probably Diaz though. Son is nice too. If you want an attacker, go with Son. Hey! Hey, 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 now that, now that is how you do it. Good job, bro. That's sick. It's the hardest thing when I'm eating on stream and I want to talk to the chat, but I don't want to like waffle with all the food in my mouth. <laughs> Brazil. Oh, he's been cooked. Tradable packs today have not been great. No, iconic. You fell into a long depression after your mom passed away, but your streams help a lot, bro. I can't even imagine, man. So sorry, bro. But yeah, dude, we're here for you, man. If you want to talk about shit, bro, just throw it in the chat, man. There's always people here willing to talk about stuff. I remember some guy yesterday, Resub said, like, he was going through some deep mental health. Like, he was going through it, and I'm like, I didn't even get to, like, talk about it, but we all go through it, bro. Like, believe it or not, I was always talk about this, man. I used to go through it, like, year before COVID. Like, oh my god, man. I was not doing well, bro, to be honest with you. I just had, like, so much stressful shit going on, man. Like, a lot. Like, five things, man, and it was stressing me the fuck out, man, and I was like constantly like honestly like shaking anxious bro like it was bad just down for a bit bro it's like i feel like i feel like man i feel like everybody goes through times in their life that are like challenging right i'm like that's kind of the way life goes whatever you believe in like if you believe in god or whatever you believe in bro i feel like there's definitely like there's definitely tough times you go through right and like i actually like the way i think about it now like i actually think it's better to go through like that because, like, believe it or not, there's always a time when you climb out of it. Some people, it's, like, a couple months. Some people, it's a couple weeks. Some people, it's a couple years. Some, keep, some people, it's, like, a decade or two. But, like, I feel like it helps you get really good life perspective. Really good. Like, I've been through some really tough times. Nobody ever really knew that except my really close friends and family. Like, you guys watching me for years, you would have had no idea because I don't share that because it's, it's personal to me. Like, whether you want to believe that or not, I'm serious, man. I was going through it for like a year and a half, man. Just bad habits, bad schedule, like, all over the place, bro. Like, really, really not enjoying life at all. And I had money. I I was in shape. I, I, dude, I didn't have a lot of bad things going for me, you know? Like, I had a lot of good things going for me. I had a good support system. Like, none of that shit mattered, bro. I was mentally checked out, and I was going through it, and I was anxious, and I felt like shit, man. For like two years, bro. So, and like the way I got out of it, man, like honestly, I didn't, I like, I didn't ever do any medication. I didn't really do therapy. I just, I just talked it through. Like I was talking through my issues with my friends and my family. I was doing more walks and I, I just said like, you know what? Like I'm going to one day I just woke up, dude. And like, it clicked for me. And I'm like, you know what? Like the only person that's going to be able to drag yourself out of this is yourself. Like that's the reality chat. And, and I know that, I know that like, that's. Like, that's very daunting to hear right now because when you're going through some shit like that, like, you feel really weak, chat. Like, when I was going through stuff like that, like, if you if I had heard somebody say, oh, you gotta, you gotta pull yourself out of it, I'd be like, oh, hell no. Like, I can't do it. I, I would be like, there's no way I can do it. But it, 
dude believe it or not man like it's all about your mentality dude and it's all about like creating good habits i'm telling you once you like get that stuff sorted bro oh my god man your life will change bro even if it's you're still gonna have your bad times bro i still have days that suck man like not really an anxious but just like off days bro but i don't know like i think two or three years ago i was like you know what i'm gonna start waking up at eight i'm gonna get back to like this fitness regimen i'm gonna like go back to playing football because i didn't play for like a year or two and it, it made me so happy to start playing again i was like oh my god man what the fuck have i been doing so i just started doing like little things like that i cut alcohol out of my life for like i didn't drink for like three years i just i and i and i just started doing more i started getting like a, a i did a work schedule so i'm like okay i'm gonna well work streaming or whatever I was like, I'm going to wake up this day time every day. I'm going to, because like for me, routine is massive. Like I'm, I'm a little bit lost without a schedule. Like I need to be doing something similar at least five days a week, like weekend or whatever can be different. So for me, it really, really helped me, man. Like doing all that stuff. So fitness, like taking walk, like therapy didn't work for me. So like taking walks with friends or just calling people, bro. And like talking through, but I'm telling you right now, like, I think, I think coming out of it, bro, I'm, I'm grateful that I went through really f tough times, bro, because I have perspective. So like. When people in my chat are mean to me or some shit, I don't even care, bro, because I know they're probably going through stuff. I also have so much perspective from it, chat. Like, I just am so nice to people now, dude, because you never know. Nobody knew I was going through shit until I told them. So I'm just trying to always be, like, nice to people now, because, like, and it's good, bro. I feel like, I don't know, just, like, even now when I have bad days, it's so good to get that perspective. So try to take the positive of, like, if you're going through some shit, I'm telling you it's going to help you, bro. Because, like, life is about battles, man. And the more battles you take on, it's like, bro, you're going to be like a team of the season card, man. I'm telling you. The more you go through, the, the the better life is, bro. Because then the simple times, when you're just sitting on your deck or you're just like, bro, you're having, like, a simple drink, you're going to be like, oh, my God, this is so nice. I know. Something as simple as that. You know what I mean? But that becomes, like, instead of instead of that being, oh, I'm so bored right now, bro, if you go through some I know you guys look at me you're like, oh, I have money, all this i didn't go through anything like you went through right everyone goes through different things right and so the way you perceive things mentally is going to be different to anybody so you can't compare your experience of going through some to someone else's it's different completely right like my going through wasn't wasn't being broke wasn't like growing up in a bad area my going through was like i couldn't get the fuck out of my head man and like i'm telling you once you guys like go through whatever you know like trial that you're going through Oh my god, man. The simple shit becomes amazing. Like, so just... Bro, just just go... I wanted to talk about that yesterday, but unfortunately, EA Sports was shafting me in foot champs. But I'm telling you guys, man. Like, it's it's actually gonna help you guys to go through it. Believe it or not, I know right now it's probably hard to believe. And think about it, bro. Like, think about how... Think about... Think about... Think about how strong I have to be now to talk about that. Like, it's not easy to talk about... Like, it's not easy to talk about that shit. It's not, bro. Because you could get emotional. Think about, like, for me, how I'm saying that to you right now. That's because I'm so confident that I'm, like... And I'm still working every day, chat on stuff, bro. It still stresses me out. But I'm, like, every time I get flustered, I'm, like, oh, man, it was so much worse that time. It's fine. Like, you know? It helps, man. I'm telling you, it helps to talk about shit. It also helps to see people that, like, went through it and they came out of it. I know that it's hard to relate, though, because you're, like... You feel like when you're going through some... You feel like no one's gone through your nobody chat. There was days I was like so anxious, man. I'd have to walk around, bro. And I, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you guys going through some, whether it's stress or anxiety and you're out there pacing, you don't even know why you're walking around, bro. You're just walking around in circles, picking up, bro. Like that type of level, bro. That's like, dude, I was doing that. Shit, like all that. I still do that sometimes. Like I'm walking because I don't know what to do, but I'm telling you, man, it's a real thing. So take care of yourself. The bottom line of this conversation that I'm, I'm going to finish is that. You are going to be the person, bro, that drags yourself out of it. So you need to try your best to utilize, like, a plan and, like, resources around you, bro. So if it's, like, family or whatever, man, you, you don't want to throw your issues on your, your close people. But you want to, like, I don't know, man. Sometimes you need some people to, like, carry it with you, you know? Because that's just how it is, bro. I don't know. Bro, that's why I rage and shit with FIFA. But at the end of the day, I don't give a shit, man. I play this video game for a living, man. You know how much worse it could be? Stuff like that. Like, I'm blessed as I know, I know you guys think I'm going crazy playing this game, but it's all good, bro. I'm just saying, like, it could be life is fucking crazy, man. All I'm saying though is, like, you know, maybe a couple years ago I wouldn't be able to talk like with that level of strength. No way, you know. But I'm. It's very important to me because I know I know how hard it was for me, and I never thought I was gonna drag myself out of that. Shit. I did, you know, like I did. It started with a routine, and like I did it again. I, I I'm never gonna be fully living without like.
that little voice inside you, you know, but I feel like that funnels my energy now. So I just use it to, uh, be a DJ and take cold showers before I play rivals in the morning. Basically, this is true. But yeah, baby steps, man. You guys got to start small, bro. Like for sure. You guys got to start small. That's how it goes, man. Small little steps. Take, take a goal and, and try to do that. That's what I would say is the best advice. Yeah, man. I mean, I know, I, I, but I know, like, like, I think right now the world is so hard to live in. That's also the problem. Like, I think right now the, the, the society that we have currently is very hard to live in the world we live in. Like, I know it's funny because I work in like, you could say social media, but I think all this stuff has made all of us so much more checking our phones and like having false realities of people and life. And like, I think it's, I think it's all up a lot dude like in the background and it's made people like really anxious and like depressed and all this stuff man i think it really like it has not been good for us i would say like it's also probably really helpful if you're doing a lot of the social media and you're not feeling well get off it man every time i've taken a break like this saturday i did not even go on twitter or like any of that instagram i didn't even log on really bro the whole day and i felt amazing dude amazing and that has nothing to do with me doing this for like a job I didn't even log on, bro. And I felt great. Just went outside, like, dude, simple stuff, man. See some people you like, listen to the birds chat. Sometimes it's that easy. Everybody's going through some shit, man, you know? Everybody's going through some shit. Bro, we got a VIP in here. He's got cancer, bro. He's, he's having cancer treatment watching the streams, dude. You know? Everybody's got their own crazy battles, dude. You know? Some people probably have, like, three finals tomorrow, and they're so stressed they could fall over. You just gotta do your best, bro, even if you're going through some you got to do your best to not be an asshole, man, and just try to be nice to people, dude, because you really don't know what anyone's kind of kind of going through. This is true, bro. Like, you don't know. So you got to be you got to be nice to people, dude. Thing is, man, this is just my opinion. And you can you can cope with what you need to cope with. I don't think popping pills and stuff, bro, is going to help you in the long run, man. So maybe work on some sort of plan to get out of that, man. Slowly, man, and start to really just start to like set little goals and stuff, man. So you can I, I, this is just my opinion, bro. I'm like a huge believer, bro, in like not going crazy with medicine. And that's like, that could be like, I mean, I know that some people need medicine, right? I'm like a huge believer though in like natural, like, like I'm a huge believer in like sunlight, believe it or not. Like I don't get enough of it because I'm inside during the day hours usually, but like stuff like that, man, I'm telling you that makes you feel good, man. Like walks, little runs, bro, like jogs, like a little sweat, that stuff, man. Certain like eating, eating habits, like that stuff, man. That stuff in the long run will be so much better for you than anything you put as a drug in your body. That's from experience too. Trust me. Like, yeah, maybe some maybe some team in the season cup. If if that makes you sweat, bro, you know, if that makes you sweat, I don't know if that's the good type of sweat, but you know, whatever, whatever works, bro. It's like I hear you though, man. I mean, it's just like a balance, bro. It doesn't mean like don't do this, don't do that, but just the balance, right? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. I personally think that's the beauty of, like, not social media, but streams. I think that's what's very unique about streams. Because I think out of all the social medias, like, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, Twitch is probably, like, the most connective social media in terms of, like, you're probably going to get the most realistic version out of the person you're watching in a live stream. Which I think is really important because, like, it's not human, it, it, it's not human connect, con, it's not human interaction, but it's, like, human, I don't know, it's, like, it's more, so, you know, dude, if that's from an outlet, dude, that helps, dude, fuck yeah. It's, like, got a community vibe, which is good, because you can, like, relate to people or stuff's going on, and, you know, that's, like, good. I agree that, like, parasocial relationships aren't always good, but it's a balance, right? It's a balance, man. Listen, man, like, that's, that's all I'm gonna say at the end of the day, dude, like, Whatever money, whatever viewers, all that, dude, is good. It's good to watch someone or be a part of something, man, that, like, people use a platform for a purpose, dude. I'm not one of those people as well that is going to, you know, I know that my platform is, we're all doing this because we all love football and shit, but it's good to be relatable, man. I try to be relatable to the streams, man, like, so you guys can relate, dude. I'm sure I'll go through a million more things before the day I die, you know, but... I can use the perspective that I've had so far and hopefully use that to carry me through. You know what I mean? No, it's good, man. It's good to have life discussions though, you know? This, I just know that this is a really stressful time of the year because people are like, especially people in school right now, man. This is like, because what school does to you, man, is like, it just consumes you so much based on one grade and you don't have perspective of like life. You don't even like think about anything else because you're so consumed stressfulness wise with exams. 
So you don't even think about, oh, in one year, I won't even be worrying about this. Like, sometimes you just need to hear that, like, dude, it's all right, man. Like, you know, it just sucks that, like, that's what school kind of does to you. It gets you, like, such tunnel vision on one exam. And you think, like, if you don't pass that exam, you're going to fail life. That's not true at all. So, dude, just get through it. But I know it's really, I know this time of the year and the holidays are really tough because a lot of people in the holidays get laid off. And they, uh, you know, some people got really f crazy family situations, dude. So it's really tough when, like, you don't have a great family situation that you see everybody else, like, celebrating with families and stuff. Yeah, life can be cruel for sure. I think that's also sometimes the problem with the world we live in, bro. People are too, like, worried about themselves, man. They don't even know that, like, got people around you going through stuff, man. You got to work together, you know?